Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Maz Naturals. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, do press that subscribe button and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you'll be alerted of an up and coming video. Now, I've decided to shoot this video today and I'm in my room upstairs um, because my children are downstairs so I didn't want to get disturbed. But this room is a mess and that's why i'm in this funny position so apologies if the lighting is not 100 percent. but today i wanted to discuss with you guys about is it safe to semi free form your locks now i haven't i haven't got my tripod at the moment my tripod is downstairs um i haven't retwisted for a couple of months and i just wanted you just to I wanted to discuss with you like what I do when I'm not retwisting my locks. Basically, I would wash my hair and I would like give it a deep clean or a deep conditioning treatment. Add my oils and my liquid. So I'll do the lock method. If you haven't seen that video about the lock method, then click above to watch that video. And so I'll do the lock method, the liquid, oil, and then the cream. And since I've been doing that method, actually, it's really working well with my locks. I'm going to give you a bit of a close-up. It's really, really feels soft and moisturised. I don't know if you can see a shine even in there of my, my locks. So basically, um, when you are doing semi-free form, you need to make sure that the hairs around the locks are in its right place. So when my when I wash my hair, I just make sure that sorry about the lighting guys, the light is not great here. And I'm working from like one light. So what I'm I make sure when I wash my locks that I separate everything. So as you can see here, I've basically trained my hair. I really don't want you to see. I've got the camera quite close because I don't want you guys to see the mess. If you see how messy this room is right now, because I'm kind of reorganizing stuff. So everything's just sort of thrown on the bed. So I don't want you guys to see the mess. That's why I'm kind of pushed right in the corner. So you can't see the mess so basically um i would separate each section of my hair and i would use the braid technique which basically is where you plait the loose hairs around the lock and i've shown you in various videos what i've done about this technique um, if you want to click above, then you will see how I do it on my friend's locks. And, I, and I've got a video of when I did it on my own locks as well. So basically, you would braid the loose hair. So you can see... Oh, no, you can see this, guys. You can see that all the hair here, you see there, is growing into the lock. There's no hairs what strain from that lock. If you come into the center of my hair, which is mainly where the stray locks are, you see these loose hairs. I would go through every section of my locks and I would just basically braid all this loose hairs back into the base you see i braid it back into here which in turn would make it stronger so there would be no loose hairs sticking anywhere it will just all be braided in so therefore when i put my hands through my hair it's all one you see if i lift you come close to light when I pull my hair out like that, all the hairs are together. It's all 
entwined into the lock so has it growing even though i haven't retwisted it should grow all together so that's exactly how, how i would look after my hair when i'm semi free forming when i don't want to retwist i will go through i'll wash my hair then i will go through each section of my scalp i literally pin the hair back like that and i would take one one lock scrape up all the hairs around that lock braid it and so on and so on because just because you're semi free for me doesn't mean that you know you can't keep your hair intact because personally i believe like when you're semi free forming and you don't braid the hairs around the lock then they'll break it's just like it's like equivalent to like when you like in the days when i used to have my hair permed and your natural hair would come through then you've got the perm on the ends and then you would comb your hair as you're combing through the hair it breaks because you've got your natural hair which is thicker than obviously than the perm natural roots perm ends. you're combing your natural hair and then the perm ends is brittle anyway because of the perm and then you, it, it breaks so it's kind of similar it's just, well yeah it's similar with 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 locks you've got your natural thicker roots and you've got your locks at the end so the little fine hairs what comes out of the lock they're just there intertwining doing their own thing so when you come along and you just go like that or whatever you do put your hands through your hair scratch or whatever then it will break so that's why i make a conscious effort of going through my hair my roots and separating it and making sure that the hairs are firmly in place so yeah that's what i just basically wanted to jump on here and talk to you guys about and you know to make sure because when you when your hair semi free form and it's out, it's it's susceptible to get drier because it's it's more exposed. It's not like when you've twisted it, and it's just laying down flat. It's, you're not twisting it, so all this hair is just out, so it gets exposed to the climate. So you just need to make sure you you're deep conditioning it and you know moisturizing it proper moisture that's what our hair needs is proper moisture because it just gets dry and brittle it can get dry and brittle so i make a very conscious effort especially in the winter time to do deep conditioning treatments hot oil treatments steaming and that works wonders for me and um i lately now i start to either wear my hats or I'll wrap my hair up sometimes, just put it up and then put on a, a wrap to protect it. That's like my protective style. Also, the reason why I semi free form now and again is because to give my roots a, a rest from the retwisting, retwisting all the time, and to get thicker roots. I love, I love when, when my hair has this thickness, I love this bit here of my my locks i just love it like that sometimes you know i just love to see that so i just let my hair grow out and get that height of the roots let it rest for a little bit before i retwist again so if you want to have thicker roots then don't retwist as often just give it a little break there's no harm in giving your hair a little break because it's like people um free form their locks and they don't twist it at all they don't even separate it at all you know they just leave it and the hair looks fantastic so but me i like to just make sure my hairs have, are in are braided into the base into the roots sorry i like to make sure that's done 
to keep all the hairs together and plus I find that it hurts when I'm separating and I hate that but if for instance these are all is all plaited in here so it doesn't hurt when I put my fingers through it it doesn't hurt it just stays stays together so yeah that's why I separate and do the break technique so that's what I thought I would share with you guys today if you guys got any questions for me do drop them in the comments below and you know if you've got any video ideas if you if you need any other advice of a video you want me to do then just let me know because as you know or for those viewers who are new to my channel I've had my locks for like over 19 years now and I've just been through the works as you can see on my if you look at my channel and you subscribe to my channel and click on my videos you will see what kind of things that I've been through with my locks and before I even had my channel um, all the stuff that I had to deal with and I had to research to find out how best to deal with whatever issue or problem I had with my locks so that's why I started my channel so I can share my experience with you guys so I'm not saying I'm, a, I'm an expert but you know I've had so many years experience now that I think I pretty much know how to deal with certain issues and problems with regards to locks so guys I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover in this video do like I said subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you'll be alerted of my up and coming videos if you have any comments or questions that you want to make then do drop them in the comments box below the video and thank you for watching. So, as always, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and stay uniquely you. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.